Greetings flying folk! In this video I'm going to share a little tip with you that might help if you have problems getting your LED strip to work on your flight controller. It took me quite some time to figure it out, but once you know what's causing it, the fix is actually really easy. So here's what it looked like on my quad. I plugged in the battery and the LEDs were showing random patterns and sometimes some flickering. I searched all of the interwebs and all I could find was a YouTube video of Lee, a painless 360, suggesting to reduce the input voltage of the LED board. My flight controller was a Matek F405 and it was delivering exactly 5 volts. I tried it anyways, but it did not fix the problem. After a while of frustration I had the idea to have a look at the flight controller resources in Betaflight, and in my case this was the solution. Let me talk you quickly through the process. First you plug in your copter, start the beta flight configurator um, app and connect the quad to your computer using USB. Then go to the CLI and type resource to list all resource assignments. Search for a row with LED strip and look at the pad number at the end of the line. Now search if this pad number appears anywhere else in the resource list. In my case it was also assigned to I2C SCL. This may either be the default for the F405 flight controller or may have been caused by me activating camera control or soft serial before, I'm not sure. You can check which resource actually gets to control a specific pad by typing resource list in the CLI. When I plugged in just the flight controller the B06 pad was assigned to the resource LED strip, but every time I plugged in the battery, the B06 pad was instead assigned to I2C SCL, which meant Betaflight could not control the LEDs. The LED board was getting random data from I2C, which caused the weird patterns and flicker. So the solution is to remove the conflicting resource assignment. In my case, I needed to enter resource I2C SCL one, none, and save. That's it. That's the solution to this problem if it is caused by a resource conflict. There may be another reason for your LED strip not working, but the symptoms are a little different. If your LEDs are lit or blinking and do not change no matter what you configure in Betaflight, then your LED board is probably in standalone mode. On my board you can configure the board by holding a small button for a few seconds. It will beep three times and then you can step through different colors. There's white, red, green, blue, yellow, purple, cyan and after that comes the flight controller mode. Depending on your wiring and configuration the LEDs may be off or on or any pattern in this mode. Just let the LED board sit there for a few seconds and then it makes a long beep. That means that it is configured to use the input from the flight controller. After that you can uh, configure it in beta flight however you like and it should uh, be reflected in the LED board uh, if it is in flight controller mode. So I hope this was helpful. Maybe um, if you have the same problem this is the solution for you. Um, yeah. Have fun flying and happy landings. Bye.